We're about to unlock the cage to some of the craziest Shark Tank products ever. And for those of you that don't know, Shark Tank is a TV show where people bring in their inventions in hopes that buyers, also known as sharks, will invest into their company. From an actual chainsaw that is used to cut through your food, to another product that was turned down but ended up becoming a billion dollar company that most of you might own today. All right, let's start with the first product so I can go inside. We are starting with the zip string, which pretty much just makes string fly in the air. It doesn't really sound that cool, right? But the Sharks actually invested $100,000 into this product, so they probably thought it was dope. Here is the zip string. We got Cosmo and Wanda. Which one do you want today? Wanda. So you're going to put the string in like floss. Here we go. Whoa! No, I'm going to go through you. No way. Uh, uh. Wait, that's actually sick. This is like defying gravity right now, bro. So the inventor of this actually came up with the idea because he was in a physics class and the teacher was demonstrating like a tabletop string launcher. So he decided to make zip string. Yo, you can also make it look like silly string. Wait, it doesn't get tangled after that? If I were a shark, would I invest into this product? I don't think so. It's still cool, but I wouldn't invest into it. Next up, we have the toy box, which is pretty much a 3D printer for kids. So you can pretty much print anything your wildest imagination can think of. So it comes with an app that you download and on the home page, you could see so many things that you could just print out and it seems unrealistic. It's like, there's no way it's gonna come out like this, but you could create a block buddy. You could build a car. You can even draw something and it'll print it out right here. I think we're gonna go for a block buddy. It has its very own customization process. So let's go with some hair. All right, we're going red hair. Let's go with eyes. I like star eyes. Nose, the biggest nose they have. Oh, there it is. They literally have one that's called big nose. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go with blue shoes to match the puffer. I think that looks fire. So we already got the white printer food in. So we're gonna start with the pants. So Mark Cuban actually ended up passing on this product, but another shark invested $150,000 into it and it has begun. So apparently Toy Box makes $12 million in revenue a year. So I think we're gonna let it do its thing and we're gonna check back on this at the end of the video to see if it's worth it. This is a Simply Fit board, which is a core body workout with a twist. Okay, so you're gonna put one foot right here, the other right here, and what you're gonna wanna do is just twist it up. You know what I mean? You just like twist it like this. It's like you're dancing. You're kind of snowboarding at the same time, but so it's working out my abs and my core as I'm twisting. So you can do planks on this. You can do push-ups. You can even do squats. So Lori Griner actually put in $125,000 into this product. I'm gonna offer you $125,000. And she made the right choice because Simply Fitboard has done $160 million in sales. And this quickly became one of the most successful at-home exercise products and one of Lori Griner's biggest investments. Since I'm all about making sure health is priority, I personally would see myself investing in this. So this right here is the Rock Block, which is a portable record player and here we have one of drake's greatest albums take care and when you place this on the record it starts to spin and plays it through here here we have it so if this works obviously it's gonna play some copyrighted music by drake so probably gonna have to put some music over it oh Wait, that's crazy. Okay, so that actually works. It does roughly around 45 rotations per minute, but bro, the song was so clear. So this is a record player that YouTube sent me. You can see it has the phase rug stamped on the bottom. It came with a little Tupac record. So we're gonna see if it works on this too. So Robert was super fascinated by the rock block that he wanted to buy the entire company for $500,000. I'll pay you $500,000 for 100% of rock block. So on the show, they struck the deal, they made it happen, but afterwards there were some complications and Robert ended up backing out of the entire thing. Rock block is still in business and they're selling their product on their site. And me personally, if this got pitched to me, I think I'd invest in it. Ugh, 
Ready for our first day of school, bro? I know, freshman year. But yeah. I was gonna say, bro, what happened to your original hoodie? I just decided to change, bro. I wasn't feeling that for my first day of school. Okay. Come on, what's the problem? But you're gonna go to school without supplies? Like, where's your backpack, too? Like, what are you doing? I'm wearing it. Talking about where's my backpack? This is it right here. Stop. This is also a backpack. This is a quick flip, which is a hoodie backpack. All right, so uh, you see this pouch right here? You just uh, reach in. Hold on, hold on, I'm not done. Look at this. It's not a real backpack. Yes, it is. It's a drawstring. Guys, it worked. Dude, this feels cool, but the only problem with this product is that I don't have a hoodie anymore. Like, now I'm cold. The Sharks actually loved it, and they invested $500,000 into it. Damn. I think it's a pretty cool product. I personally would invest in it too. Next product we got, I'm excited for. It's called Nutter, and you could create your own milk. So we're actually gonna be creating some almond milk and we're gonna see how different it tastes versus the store brand one. Whoa, that looks clean. I like it. Picasso, we're gonna add two tablespoons of raw almonds. One, two. Now we're gonna add one cup of water. I'm just excited to see how this is gonna turn into milk. Oh, oh. And it is done. All right, first look. Oh my gosh. Oh, the color and consistency looks like almond milk. So I want to give this a try, but I want Kaylin to do a blindfolded taste test and try to see which one she thinks is the store brand almond milk or the one we just made. I think I can do that. Okay, let me try it. <coughs> Strainer didn't work that well. I think it tastes good. It just didn't strain well. Look at the bottom. All right, Kaylin, let's get you blindfolded and we're going to do a taste test. Okay. Dude, they actually look pretty similar, huh? Here you go. First one. It's like water. That's the one we just made for sure. Try this. Yeah. This one is the one we made and this one is a store bought. You got it right. What were the differences? This one tastes like water. So the inventor of this product asked the sharks for $500,000. The sharks did in fact not invest into this product. I like the product a little better, but I'm biased there. So for those reasons, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I would say one cool thing about this is that you know there's no extra additives or preservatives, but the taste wasn't the best. It tasted a little watered down. Me personally, I would not invest in this product. Little update on the toy box. It looks like it is going hard right now. We wanted to give you guys a little update. We got the pants right here. We got the puffer jacket and we got the sleeves. And now it's working on the shoes. So we'll let it keep doing its thing. And then at the end, we're gonna piece it all together and see the final product. You gonna ask me what this is? I mean, I wanna ask why there's only half a spoon. <laughs> Wait, look at this. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is an edible spoon, meaning you can eat it. This isn't the official Shark Tank product because the official one's actually sold out from how good it is. So we have to find other edible spoons, but I really wanted to show you guys this. Uh, uh. You know what this tastes like? An ice cream cone. That tastes so good. So the product featured on Shark Tank is called Incredible Eats. The sharks were so interested in it that they invested $500,000. I think the sharks were intrigued because it's also good for the planet since you're not using plastic spoons as much. So yeah, I think I would actually invest into this product as well. Next up, what looks like is gonna be my favorite product is the electric knife, which looks, sounds, and feels like a real chainsaw in the kitchen. It looks like you literally got this from Home Depot. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on, bro. I'm just gonna be the first to say I'm gonna put on some protective gear for safety. It's gonna cross the map right now. <laughs> Tomahawk across the map. <laughs> All right, we clipped one of the blades in, and now clip the other. And here we have it, the Mighty Carver. Sorry, SpongeBob. Let it rip. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right. Woo, give me some. Mm. What else do we have? We got some chicken. Oh, okay. This is a crazy product. I like this. We gotta do one more. Water Malo. Oh, there we go. It's going down. Depending on what you want to cut, it's kind of like, depends like if this is strong enough. Cause I feel like this is not strong enough to cut it. True. Careful, bro. Oh, you spoke too soon, my boy. Whoa. Yo, okay, that's cool. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Using that thing is so fun. 
It's funny you say that because by the Wall Street Journal, they actually named this the most fun kitchen tool, like overall. The Sharks ended up investing $100,000 into this product. Would you do the same? I would. Next up, we got snow in seconds, where you can pretty much make snow in seconds. So all you have to do is add water and it says it makes realistic fluffy white snow. Looks like sugar. All right, we're gonna add the powder to the bowl. All right, now we're gonna add our water. Let's see how fast it turns into snow. Oh, look at it fluffing, dude. Nah, this is sick, this is sick. Wait, it actually feels like snow too. So Barbara from Shark Tank actually invested $50,000 into this product, but sadly this isn't doing too well right now because it's more of a seasonal product. Man, I really wish it snowed in San Diego. I don't know why it doesn't. Oh my gosh, it's snowing, dude. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> if this got pitched to me to put my own money in it, I would kindly decline. So you might have heard of flex tape, which is known to look like a fruit roll-up wrapper. So this is known to patch water leaks and hold a good amount of weight. So let's test it out. Boom. Easy. And this is fiber fix, which is what was pitched on Shark Tank, and it's supposedly 10 times stronger than your average duct tape. Let's go test it out. All right, this is regular duct tape, and we're gonna start with a five pound weight. All right, woo woo! Little 10 pounder. Oh, all right. 15 pounds. Wow. All right, 20 pounds. I'm calling it here that it's ripping. What? 25 pounds. So you're saying the fiber fix can do at least 250 pounds? 30 pounds. 25 pounds was the limit. Let's see how much fiber fix can do. All right, here we have the fiber fix. As you can see, it looks like carbon fiber. I like the design of it, but now let's test the strength. All right, we're starting with 25. Oh, that looks easy. That's light work. 30. 35 pounds. 45. 55 pounds. Is this ever gonna snap? All right, we're adding another 25. We're going all in. 80 pounds. Three, two, one. Wait, it's not ripping. I've run out of weights, guys. That's 80 pounds of force and it's still intact. So Lori actually invested $120,000. I personally think that I would invest into this for sure. This is the Radio Flyer tricycle. And this right here is the low racing tricycle. So this is a tricycle made for adults where you can actually drift. So let's give this a try. Hold up, here we go. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually sick. So the company is from San Diego, which is pretty cool, but the Sharks were not interested in this product and did not offer any money for it. And it is no longer in business. But I ended up finding one on OfferUp. I paid a whopping $200 for this. Wait, I'm kind of getting the hang of it, but I'm getting pretty dizzy. I honestly would not invest in a tricycle, so it's a no from me. Next up, we got the Fizz Cup, where you could pretty much make an ice cream float out of any drink, and we're going with the OG root beer float. A lot of people were saying that it leaks, so we're gonna test that out and just see how good it is. First step, get some ice cream into your Fizz Cup. So this, in fact, did not get invested in by any of the sharks, and honestly, I probably wouldn't invest in this either because I feel like it's so niche, like it's cool, but at the same time, it's not something that'll be that next billion dollar company. All right, now we're gonna cap it. You're gonna unscrew the soda of your choice. And then you can see the bottom has a place to screw it on. I could see why this would leak. Okay. Okay. Mm, move your flow. I think it's a nice little gadget to own. If your friends come over, you know you wanna show them something cool. I think this is it. This right here is called phone soap and it's a UV sanitizer and it charges your phone at the same time. You pretty much just put your phone in the middle right here. Then you close it and leave your phone in there for 10 minutes and it uses UV light to eliminate all the bacteria from your phone. But to get some really accurate results, we are gonna use a black light to see how dirty my phone is before and after I use this. All right, we got the UV light. 
So here is the back of the phone. You can see a lot of dust. And here's the front. You see a lot of fingerprints, so we're gonna see if it takes that out. I'm gonna place this in. We're gonna test another product while that cleanses. So you guys might have heard of this product, Ring. But did you guys know that it was once called Doorbot? This is the biggest fumble in Shark Tank history. So this is the original ring and this is what it was pitched as on the show. All right, we're gonna open this up and see what it looks like. Whoa, wait, this looks super bulky compared to the ring now. So this is what was shown to the sharks 11 years ago. And now we're gonna see how much the ring today changed. Oh yeah. This is so clean, super sleek. I like how they changed the shape. The lens of the camera isn't sticking out of the device like this one. Ring literally changed home security forever. So the sharks failed to see the value in this product and they all turned it down. But years later, every single one of them has expressed how much they regret it because Ring is now a $1 billion company. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's go check on the phone. Looks like the light turned off. See if it did anything. The smudges are still there. Let's see the back, nothing. So when I open this fast, you could actually see the UV light. Yeah, so when it's closed, it's using the UV lights, but I didn't see a big difference on my phone. I'm all about being sanitary. I always use hand sanitizer. I always wanna use wipes for my phone. So I think I'd actually invest in the product and maybe make some changes down the road. All right guys, my birthday's coming up in nine months, so I decided to get myself a little cake with a little surprise inside. Birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Faze Ruck. Be birthday to... Whoa! Yo, that was sick! We got some cash. Looks like we got a rolly at the bottom right there. This is the popping cake stand where you can creatively give someone a gift in the middle of the cake. That was actually sick. So the sharks showed zero interest in this product because they just didn't see a reason to put a gift in the middle of a cake. As of now, the net worth of the company is unknown. Honestly, knowing me, I probably would have invested into this. I thought it would have went to the moon. This right here is called a bed jet and it's a cooling or heating system for any sized bed. So this is the remote it comes with and we're gonna start cooling my bed. Look at the sheet. Wait, that's crazy. This is a life hack to sleep more at night. Oh, it's actually getting cold. That is sick. It's honestly not too loud if you're worried about loud noises to sleep. All right, now we're gonna go heat mode. It's gonna go up to 104 degrees. It is already at 90 degrees. Hey, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like the heat more than cold. Like I could sleep in a hot room, but I can't in a cold room. So none of the sharks bit the bait on the bed jet, but it's actually doing really, really well. And they've sold over 200,000 units. I think I would invest in this because I care a lot about sleep and anything that can help me sleep, I love. All right, here we have the chord buddy, which pretty much helps you learn how to play the guitar, like Guitar Hero. So these buttons right here are correlated to a guitar chord. So in order to do a regular guitar chord, it takes two or three strings to hold on to at the same time. Whereas this, you just press the color and it'll do it for you. So this is without pressing any of them. And now we're gonna press down on the blue. Okay, red. All right, we got green and yellow. They all have a different tone to it. Strawberry lemon corrected. I want a lemon lime from a new perspective. So the sharks ended up closing the deal at a solid $125,000 investment. The company's doing great. It makes around a million dollars in revenue every single year. So I personally would invest in this product because I like that it could teach anyone how to play the guitar. All right, after a long seven hours, our toy box figure is complete. Here are all the pieces that it created. You can see the head, the hair, the puffer jacket, shoes, everything. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Honestly, seven hours, I feel like is not a long time to make an entire figure in a 3D printer. So let's piece it together. So the face looks pretty accurate. You could see the big nose sticking out just how I wanted it. And now we got the Elvis styled hair. Oh, we got the puffer on the kid. Next, you're gonna take your blue dyed crinkle cut fry. 
Oh, this is looking great. Oh my gosh. It's actually like Legos. It's actually pretty scary how accurate this is. But here we have the finished product. The only, only difference from our picture is the skin tone because we didn't have that exact color. The closest thing we had was orange. But man, that's actually so cool, especially for a kid. I 100% would invest into this product. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Wait, what do you want them to comment if they made it this far? Comment the word 3D. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you all with the next video. Peace.